Good morning, guys. So, uh, we, uh, we have to learn online. So, but we want to go back. That doesn't mean. So, um, since this is kind of new for everybody, we're going to keep on working on the piano. But I was thinking that the first thing I want to do is to unify the information that we already have. Because I know some of you are very good reading and you are in second level and some extra songs, but some of you are not so good on reading. So the first thing I want to do um, to keep on going on the lesson on the book is to make sure that everybody know how to read because you know it's not like I'm gonna be next to you and say no that's that doll that's me that's it I'm not gonna do that we can't so since you know we don't know when this is gonna uh, pass this is gonna finish so let's get together in the same page so I'm gonna start from the beginning like making a big review about some basic basic stuff and I know some of you, the most of you actually know very well this because you were since kindergarten, I was teaching you how to read music. But um, let's uh, pretend that we're gonna, you know, like everybody's in the same team. So we wanna go walk together and be in the same page. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna tell you that this is the staff, okay? So what is the staff for? The, st the music staff, is to write music the same way that you write uh, music on the pa I mean stories on papers and then books you read out of the book the same way when you are a musician or you just read music you're gonna read out of the stuff let's say that this is our book and the music is uh, written on that book because a melodies are like stories when you play something or you sing something you are giving a message same way that if you read a story or you read an information. So this is our paper, this is our notebook, the stuff. So the music stuff uh, has five lines and four spaces. This is a line, this is a space. See, it's a bit different. Line, space, I'm gonna put this in another space. See, this is a line. So when it's a line make sure that you realize about this if the line is going through it's a line now if it is like this for example if you see a note like this that's not a line or a space it means only that is um misunderstood or misread miswritten i mean you did it in the wrong way but if it is in the middle see that's that we can say that that note is on a line all the way is on a space now if you find something like this remember it's just like someone wrote it in the bad way but it's not line so this is a line this is a space line 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 see so five lines four spaces by the way remember we start counting and reading from the bottom to the top in the music, the first line is this, not this. The first space is this, not this one, okay? So four spaces, five lines. Each of them has a note, has a name, let's say. Now, I know that some of you, especially if you are with me since kindergarten, you know, you read do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, T do. Now, well, actually in English, sol is like this. Do re mi fa sol la ti do. Now, some of you are better reading in the alphabet. I'm very proud of the people who are able to read in both ways because actually the alphabet is only used here in America, in the United States, but um, everybody, everywhere else. It's gonna be do re mi fa sol ti. So this is to sing basically 
but um, if you go to another place or you read in the internet a song that is written by an Italian person or something, it's gonna use this, do re mi fa sol la ti do. Because let's say it's a worldwide way to read. Now, when it's um, a letters, it's basically here in the United States. So it's very good to know both ways. And, and I know some of you know both ways, like whatever. That's very good. I'm pretty, very proud of you. Now, please make sure that you understand this. Do is the first line, If you, I mean, it's the first note if you're gonna read in do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. But when you are um, reading in letters in the alphabet, please understand that do is not a, it's not a, I mean, I'm not, I'm, now I'm gonna say it in Spanish, no. Do is not gonna be A, it's gonna be C. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and keep on going. So either way, if you read this or this, I'm gonna say it in both ways, but remember, I mean, I like both this way because it's more like to sing, if we, if we sing, when we read singing, we get like the first lesson, for example, do, re, mi, mi, so, 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 pa, pa, mi, mi. See, I can sing it with this, but I'm not gonna sing with this. It's not the way C, D, E, E, G. That's not the way we read. So it's very good if you learn in both ways. But, you know, if it is easier for you, you see the alphabet, that's okay. I'm gonna try to cover both way when, when I read, okay? So, just make sure you remember this. Do is not A, it's C. So you start from C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, okay? Um, now, these notes, which are the notes in music, you're gonna put it in here. That, those are the notes that we're gonna use it when we learn to read music. So, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, and do. If you say it in the alphabet, this is gonna be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. You know that? You see that? You realize? C is the first. It's not A. So, and then if you know how to read in the, this way, keep on practicing. That's the way we wanna do it the most of the time. Okay, so, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, O, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, I'm gonna make it easier for the most of you that are sitting this, in the first level. Uh, the first level in the book that we read in the classroom, that we play in the classroom, goes only from Do to Sol. See? I mean, to make it easier, from Do to Sol, from C to, D, to G in the right hand. And I'm gonna erase now this, I'm sure you already got it. Now, this, remember, the treble clef is for the right hand. So how are you gonna do this? C, D, E, F, G, that's for the right hand. Remember, treble clef is for the right hand. Whatever you find written on the treble clef, you're gonna play it on the piano with the right hand. Whatever you find on the bass clef, you're gonna read it with the left hand. Now. This is for the right hand. Do, re, mi, fa, so. C, D, E, F, G. Look, this is the first line. See, I mean, make sure you do, you discriminate where is each note. See, E is the first line. G is the second line. This is not the first line. This is out of the stuff. C is the line in between the two stuff. D is a space because it's, it doesn't have a line, but it's no part. 
yet of the lines and spaces of the uh, stuff, okay? So just make sure you understand do, re, mi, fa, sol. And then before I leave, um, let me move this in another way. Well, no. Um, practice this. Rewatch the video if you need it. Because I'm going to keep on, on doing it. I don't want you to, this is not clear and then you get so confused. So, last thing. Same way you're going to read do, re, mi. Let me write the other one so I don't have to. So, in the treble clef, you read do, re, mi, fa, sol that way. And the line, space, line, space, line. Now, look at this. With the left hand, you have do or C in the second space. See that? One space, two space, three space, four space. In the second space, you have do or C in the left hand. It's different. See? It's different. No, here. Mm -mm. It's different. So C, D, E, F, G, or which is the same, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, and So. So I don't want to give you too much information for now. I'm gonna make more videos after this, but remember this. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. Now, make sure you understand what is it. It's not just whatever, just make sure you discriminate where is each note. This is on the second space, see? One, two, this is on the third line. First, second, third, fourth, fifth line. So, second space, third line, third space, fourth line, fifth, I mean, fourth space. Make sure, okay? So, I'm going to leave you that. I'm going to make more uh, videos for you. And I see you soon. I miss you guys.